Recently, we started seeing pictures with J Balvin's latest Jordan collab. Ugh. And a very, but very obnoxious video of DJ Khaled talking to him about the shoe. Of course, when I say obnoxious, I don't mean J Balvin because he was as normal and polite as anyone can be. If you wanna see the whole f***ing thing, I'll leave a link in the description, but I'm sure you get the picture. I appreciate you. This being said, I decided to take a quick look at the J Balvin Jordans we know and the one that we are expecting later this year. The first one was released in 2020 during the Super Bowl halftime performance and it's an Air Jordan 1 High. Usually when people get a Jordan collab, they go for the 1 and they also say that it's pretty difficult to mess up a Jordan 1. They obviously said that before J Balvin swing at it. If we're honest, this is a love or hate shoe, no in-betweens. A lot of things going on here in the J Balvin fashion that we all know, but at the end of the day you have a great artist that actually did his thing. Would I wear them? Mm, no. Goes without saying that I wouldn't buy them either. Although to be fair, they had a decent retail price, $190. The second one was released in 2022 and we have the Air Jordan 2 Retro. Although it's a 2 and you have a retail price of $300, which is honestly a lot, you can definitely see the improvement here. This shoe has an energetic blue color scheme and it's coupled with cloud graphics on the heel counter and sock liner, rainbow stitching throughout the entirety of the shoe and of course the signature smiley face branding on the heel. For additional details I will leave links in the description to Seth Fowler's reviews because we all love Seth and honestly appreciate the work he's doing. To finish up with the Jordan 2, I'm gonna mention one of the main selling points of this sneaker. It also features a light up wings logo on the tongue that illuminates when pressed. Is it gimmicky? Is it cool? I don't know. I personally think that it adds character to the shoe itself. Would I wear this shoe? Yes, I would. Would I buy this shoe? Definitely not. Not for $300 at least. You have to keep in mind boys that I still live in Romania, so if you decide to throw 300 euros at a pair of sneakers, you better be sure that that's the pair you wanna buy. And finally the J Balvin Air Jordan 3. The artist confirmed that this pair is inspired by sunsets in his hometown of Medellin, Colombia and you can see it with the purple, orange and yellow gradients on the heel tab and midsole. He kept it simple this time and I'm happy that he did because the main color, this off-white buttery color, complements the Jordan 3 silhouette very nicely. They are expected to be released on the 2nd of September this year. Would I wear it? Yes. I would. If the retail price will be similar to a normal Jordan 3 release, somewhere in the neighborhood of $250, I would definitely buy it as well. What do you guys think? Is this the best J Balvin Jordan collab? Leave a comment.